We'll make do. It's New Year's. It's 2021, so things can't get any worse, right? Dude, tell me about 2020, Lance. Was this the worst year ever or what? I certainly hope so. It, it's it's just so baffling that it feels like COVID was the entire year, and then I have to remind myself that like Edge's return at the Royal Rumble in front of how many thousands of fans and how great that was. It's like the year started so fantastic. Like I even got to be a part of, you know, the the booking team that put the Royal Rumble together. I was one of the many uh, producers that did the Rumble match and was a part of Edge's big return and how great it was to, uh, you know, the, the thing with Drew setting up WrestleMania. It was like everything was just going so perfect. And then uh, 2020 or 2020 hit like a wall and just everything went downhill from there. Wow, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. It looks like, uh, yeah, I'm on the uh, Impact Wrestling Twitch right now, and that's not connecting to the chat either. So it's definitely not my fault this time. Finally! Finally, that's what I want this year. Everything to go wrong, but it's actually not my fault. <laughs> I'd rather nothing go wrong and it be nobody's fault, but that's just me. Optimistic this year. All right, so here's the deal. So a new 24-7 champion crowned on New Year's Eve. On TikTok's New Year's Eve party live stream, video aired of Angel Garza rolling up Truth to win the 24-7 title. Video of this is on our front page if you just got to see this. So the, the Lothario the was not on a date on New Year's Eve. He was out well, chasing the 24-7. Funny, funny you should mention that, Lance. The video begins with, of all things... The completely random, unadvertised return of Lana. She's just there, and our Lothario here, Angel Garz, is, I guess, trying to hit on her. I watch it with the sound off, so. Lana's there, the New Day's there, and then, boom, our truth rolls up. Uh... Anyway, so that's that, so, wow. Angel so, Garza's 24-7 champion. Second year in a row, they've done a title change on New Year's. So, there you go. And the Lothario conti continues to have no luck with women. The poor yeah, guy. Yeah. I just couldn't believe that Lana was there. Like, they did that big storyline. Then they injured her. She never shows up at the pay-per-view. She never shows up on Raw. Like, we don't know anything about her status. And then here she is just totally randomly on TikTok. On was a video she that healthy? Because I saw, like, an Instagram post that she had, like, the big boot on her leg and her arm in a sling. Like, was she beat up and selling, or is I she mean, fine? I mean, she looked totally fine here. She's in her gown, and maybe I need to watch it again. I don't know. Like, or maybe not. Yeah, it doesn't matter that much, everybody. But anyway, WWE's announced a couple of additions to the lineup for the New Year's Day episode of SmackDown. WWE hyping that Roman Reigns has, quote, made a special request of WWE management ahead of this week's SmackDown. Guess we'll see what that means. After Roman Reigns retained his Universal Championship, sources have now informed WWE.com that the head of the table has made a specific special request, but the specifics have not been disclosed. So, headlining SmackDown tonight, everybody, is a special request from Roman Reigns. We also have Sasha and Bianca versus Bailey and Carmella. It's coming off the four-way last week. Big E... We'll face Baron Corbin. Got to get that title rain off to a bang. And Well, it does seem to be their go-to. When they want someone to be universally cheered and, and over as a babyface, they put him with Baron. That's true, Lance, but the problem is we're in a Thunderdome where you just tell everybody what to do. So, <laughs> they like, do it. Yeah, you could put him up against The Rock and tell those fans to cheer. I'm just happy. I will say this. I'm happy that they're doing this match, and so my presumption is it's a one-and-done and Big E can move on. Because the last thing this guy needs after winning the title is a feud with Baron Corbin. So that's a SmackDown Or, or, or a dodgy finish uh, in his first title defense. Uh, that's or his also first match true. after winning. Yeah, He, he needs to, uh, in my opinion, be on a clean win streak for a while. I'm a big Big E fan, and I, I think let's start off 2021 with some happiness. And I think Big E on a win streak with a championship would make everyone happy. So let's go with that. Well, we're going to jump into the emails today because there's no chat. So obviously, if you want to talk to us here today, email or text is going to be your best bet. 
This person says, didn't Angel Garza squash Drew Gulak this week to start his new three-week push? Looks like they need new geeks to run after the 24-7 title since the Lucha House Party is now in NXT. Do they realize how talented Garza is? Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. Hopefully he gets longer than a a three-week push. Did you watch NXT this week, Lance? Nah. No, I did not. I'm I'm not a regular NXT watcher. It's it's not convenient to watch when you're in Canada. We get a one hour edited version on Fridays, so it hasn't even aired yet up here. So it's it's not conducive to a Canadian audience. Now, how does the? It's been a long time since I asked you about this, and I I'm not a Canuck. How does the WWE Network work up there? I mean, do you now have the normal WWE Network on like a tablet, or is it still the channel? What is it? Well, it's both. You have to be a cable subscriber, and you subscribe through your cable company, and then the live feed is, in fact, a channel on your your TV. So if you want to watch the pay-per-views or whatever's on the live TV, you just turn on, with me, it's like channel 948 or something, and you get the live feed on your TV, but you can sign in. There's a two-stage process. You have to sign in to your, you know, your WWE account, <clears throat> account, and then you have to sign in through your cable provider information, so it's a double sign-in on your tablet, your phone, any device you want, and then you can access all of the um, archived content. You know, I got to say, so I've had people that, that don't engage in the Twitch chat that are like, I don't get it. You just sit there and you talk to people. Like, why? Just watch the show or whatever. I'm pretty lonely right now. I'm missing <laughs> something without this Twitch chat. Where's all the Twitch homies today? Now oh, I understand. They're, they're hung over with Mike. Well, I, I mean, I've, I've been alerted here. The lack of chat is a Twitch problem. It's every channel. I never realized until it was gone how much I miss all these these homies and jabronis in my Twitch chat here. Well, much like I think wrestling fans didn't, or wrestlers didn't realize how much we would miss wrestling fans if they weren't there Man. until they weren't. That's but, true. Uh, yeah, that's, again, let's hope by the end of 2021 things can be back to at least somewhat normal. Although I think WWE is getting spoiled with being able to control their audience so well. Yeah, what's going to happen when, like, they're all excited to bring fans back, and then you're going to bring them back, and they're just going to go into business for themselves again? What are they well, going to do? That was a big thing watching Monday. It's like, I firmly believe that had there been a live audience, the crowd would have been chanting for Randy to do it when he had the match and, and Alexa Bliss was pouring the gas over her head. I think... There's a large portion of fans that would have been chanting, like, light her up, light her up. And I don't think that's what the uh, the office would have liked. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes. Over 300 at current count. Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Landstorm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.